delicious. So, um, our keynote speaker today is Mayor Alan Coutre, elected in our October municipal election. Welcome. Everything's good there? Mike? Okay. Not that mic, that mic. <laughs> uh, as you know, uh, we've been having an issue with our, uh, with our uh, let's say, our provincial government not giving us the uh, opportunity to uh, address the caribou, and that's been a big issue with uh, the council and the uh, Peace River Regional District. So, uh, I will start with that and then we'll have questions after and if I can't answer them, I will find an answer for you, even if it is to get back to you and you leave your name and address and we will try to contact you with that information. Uh, with that being said, I would like to thank all the people that uh, uh, supported me in my uh, little travels here to this position as uh, mayor. I really appreciate it. Uh, the kindness of Chatwin is uh, much beyond my expectations. I, I knew what it was when I, li when I was uh, uh, growing up here, but I didn't realize how great it was. So I would like to applaud Chetwin itself for helping my family and uh, myself get through a uh, terrible time that we had, and then yet uh, to get to the heights of, uh, of uh, let's say, euphoria about being elected as mayor. Let's, let's just put it that way. I applaud Chatwin for that as myself. Okay, th I'd like to thank you from the bottom of my heart and my, uh, my dear wife thanks Chatwin too for that because we, we did, <clears throat> if people don't know, uh, that our son passed away during the election campaign. So it was such a terrible time that nobody should experience and I have friends that have experienced that and you probably have friends that experienced that and you probably had friends that experienced that and nobody should go through it. And uh, I would just like to thank Chetwin for their great, great backing of me and uh, my family and wow, I, I just couldn't do it without, uh, without Chetwin backing us up. Okay, uh, <clears throat> with that, uh, get back to uh, business. And there's some stuff that we did here in Chetwin as uh, the council prior to me getting uh, into the seat as mayor. And uh, I'll just read some of that stuff off. And uh, we'll have some questions after I, I read through this. And uh, you question me on the, what, what I know. And that's probably uh, what Carol uh, Newsom tells me. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, we had a playground equipment uh, in Kin Park and Spir Kin and Spirit Park, and uh, we had the outdoor rink. As if anybody uh, been to Spirit Park, we had an outdoor rink. We uh, got some uh, boards from uh, a local uh, Dawson Creek uh, area. With a, there was a guy who had boards there, and he uh, he generously gave it to us for a nominal price. So that's one of the things that's put up there, and hopefully the weather holds up for that kind of uh, entertainment for the kids and for adults alike. Uh, the district uh, received seven hundred seventeen thousand dollars for the from the provincial for structural flood mitigation work and debris trapped in trapped in being uh, a, a debris trap is being designed and will be constructed to prevent uh, uh, debris and. Uh, in the Windham Creek, as you know, the Windham Creek gets flooded by our uh, uh, post office there, and they dig in uh, there and try to get it all done. So uh, we received 717000 for that. And uh, the council expanded the commu uh, community in recycling program in 2018. A curbside, re curbside recycling pickup program was implemented in the Crown and Rodeo subdivisions to begin within <coughs> and has expanded throughout the entire town now with recycling being picked up at curbside every Thursday. So if you guys don't know about recycling, get with the program. <laughs> so, uh, so we had $25,000 in BC Rural Dividend uh, Fund granted was, was awarded to the district uh, for a new trail behind Serrera's place and the hospital. Those funds <clears throat> and the $5,000 Imagine grant was uh, used to improve the trails 
to, to the Carvers. Carvers Row and upgraded the Pine Valley Seniors Activity Center, Horseshoe Pit, and parking lot. Russ Young donated crush for parts of the project and Canford donated logs. The district shared a Northern Health project to help, to, uh, project to have a community health plan strategy created by Chetwin. The district and the Northern Health uh, continue to work together wherever possible to keep Chetwin healthy, keep Chetwin Health Services robust. <clears throat> Council approved two extensions to work, to work camps in the industrial subdivision two, in 2018, Black Diamond Low Prairie Lodge, uh, which has 252 beds, and Flight Camp, which has 150 uh, beds. Chetwin won the Provincial Open for Business Award in 2018. This was a prestigious award and showcase with vibrant local business <clears throat> businesses and community. So I did not know that was a war, but uh, I'm glad we won it. <laughs> so there's stuff that I'm just learning that uh, when you get into the hot seat, it's not that hot. <laughs> but anyway, when you get in there, there's stuff that uh, I'm just learning, and the learning curve is uh, quite steep sometimes. And sometimes I, <clears throat> I have to ask the question twice. And uh, one of the questions is, why did I do it? Why did I do it? <laughs> but anyway, it's fun. I tell uh, the people that I meet, <clears throat> and that's politicians too. And uh, I guess I'm classified as one of those. And uh, I'd rather be laughing than crying. And it's always good for people and for anybody that knows uh, a little bit about the history of uh, Aboriginal people and most people in general. If you have a laughter in the house, the house is way better. The feeling is always general, where we always have to accept what's in the house. And if it's laughter, great. So when tears come along, laughter is the best medicine. So, and that's what happened this year. Uh, I, I, I enjoyed all the people that I met. Uh, Charlie was a great influence on the, after the election and before the election. He uh, mentored me a little bit on that. and. You know, a few uh, Merlin after the election because uh, I I, uh, I appreciate those people when they do come and uh, let me know that they are part of the, the community and they adjust it because Merlin had to make quite an adjustment, right? He was uh, there and and I I appreciated him for doing that and coming to speak to me. He says, if, Al, if you need any help, come to me and uh, ask questions and uh, if you need me, I will be there for you. And I appreciated that very much because uh, the man has been there for a while and uh, he started with this uh, caribou and he was one of our leading guys to try to get us to the table so we could speak uh, for our community and our surrounding communities. So with that, I'd like to uh, thank you for, for your uh, pre uh, appreciation to uh, Naomi for her work because without our uh, chamber we don't see Chatwin. We should be always looking at our chamber for results and how we're doing ec economically because our chamber is in touch with our community and with me, with Carol and with our council. So with that all you people here that know the Naomi and the chamber, I mean let, let's give her a hand right now. Let's make sure that we know. She knows we care. Okay, thank you, Naomi. Okay, uh, with that, I know I, uh, I've said it before and I've, about the background that I uh, come from. And uh, I'm going to be blunt here because all you people here that don't know me and know me, uh, I never believed that one person could run around chat one barefooted Naughty nose, then the springs, naughty nose, and the thing, and become a, a chair that I hold, you know. And it's true. I think about those things, and uh, and I realize that uh, some of the things that we do accomplish in life are greater than the person itself. So when when I think like that, I, I believe that the person itself is is Al Al Kutri. The position I hold is greater than itself, right? I, I believe that, and I know that, and I. I will relish the position. I will do the best I can for what I know. And if I don't know, I will ask. 
and that's the biggest thing that I found when I did uh, some of the chores that I had to do. If I did not know, I went to the person, I asked, I says, do you know how to do this? And if I got that relayed back to me, I would go back to that person and say, this is what I know. I've gained it from that person. Here it is. And because I'm not going to take this knowledge with me, I will never take it with me. I will leave it on the doorstep for someone else to come and pick it up and say, here it is, have it, because you use it to the best of your ability. And this is where I get my feelings. I want to use it to the best of my ability to put forth a good position. And that's for Chetwin, that's for council, that's for the people on uh, that own business in town. We need that for each other. And with this caribou thing, I see us sticking together. We're holding hands here and we're going in, uh, at it together. And that's the way we all need to be. And if we fracture and break that, we're weaker. So all together as one council, citizens, and chamber. <laughs> so anyway, I, I believe that's the way we're, we're going to have become a successful little community again. Well, again, uh, I say again because this caribou thing is kind of throwing us in a little, little, uh, little direction. So we will get over this and uh, we, will, uh, we will accomplish uh, better things, bigger things in Chatwin. Thank you. <clears throat>
Okay, uh, I'd like to thank you once again, Naomi. Thank you. Thank you so okay. much for coming. Yes. We look forward to doing it next yep, time. Yep, yep, yep. Thank, thank you. you so yep, much. You bet. Thank you. In regards to Caribou, um, I do have copied the Chapman Chamber of Commerce that issued a letter in support um, for um, the citizens for Caribou recovery. So we've taken a stand as well, and we have sent out letters to our membership saying um, that we are not in favor of in-camera meetings. Um, information needs to get out there. We need to uh, we need to get the word out. Uh, I do have paper petitions available at my office. They are. Um, I have a little basket on my door. If I'm not there, they're right in there, so you can take them and bring them out and get as many signatures as possible. There's also an online petition as well that you can uh, take advantage of as well. The paper petitions need to be back by the end of January is what there's what we're thinking right now due to the, the meetings coming up in February, and they can be dropped off at the Dawson Creek Chamber of Commerce or Coeur d'Alene uh, Sports in Dawson as well. That way it gets right there and I'm not having to drive them all frantically to get them there in time. Um, so. I want to thank everybody for coming today, and I want to thank everybody for coming out to the luncheons we've had all year. Uh, your support is absolutely phenomenal. As the chamber, um, we're so proud to be able to represent our members and our community. Chetwin's a wonderful little town, and uh, I keep t telling people I've attended a couple of conferences uh, this year, including the, the BC Chamber AGM as well as the Canadian Chamber AGM, and our local businesses have assisted in federal change when it's come to some of the policies. So all those things that you guys are I'm sending out to you and cramming your inboxes full on surveys, etc. you are having a difference. Um, just a reminder that the, shop, uh, the 21 Days of Christmas Shop Local Promotion wraps up um, Friday morning. Um, I will be picking up the donation bags or the receipt bags, entry bags from each community uh, tomorrow afternoon, but I will be in the office early on Friday, so if anybody has any leftover receipts, you can come to my office and drop them off. I will be doing the draw at 9 o'clock. My office will be open at 8. Last, oh, I was going to say, last year's um, 21 Days of Christmas, we had uh, 19 businesses participating, and I actually do count up all the receipts, so I actually sit there and enter them all and count them all up because we need to have an idea, um, and last year I had three drop-off points for receipts, my office, and then there was two downtown, um, and there was over $55,000 in receipts just from those 19 stores in 21 Days. Uh, this year I dropped off... <laughs> This year I dropped up entry bags at all the stores. So I currently have three giant garbage bags sitting in my office. But if anybody wants to come count receipts. Um, and I have a draw for the door prize. So everybody has a little red ticket. Each, uh, each of our meetings, Crazy Beans Bistro donates a gift certificate. So the winner of the, and it's $20 gift certificate. Last numbers are 923. Wonderful. So, luncheons will start up again next year, uh, 2019. Um, we're probably going to be doing them bi monthly, um, as well as we're going to try a couple of evening events as well. I know everybody's busy at lunches, and we're going to try some evening stuff as well. So, keep your eyes peeled on your emails and around town. And I thank you so much for coming. Merry Christmas and have a wonderful, wonderful new year. Thanks, Thanks.